Okay, where do I begin? Hey guys, it's me Maddie, and this is my 1993 Road Trek van. I actually have been gone for quite a while, but I thought I would come back with a completely different set of videos, and I thought a van would be a perfect way to kickstart the year. So I, as you guys know, that I love to travel and I love to do different things and adventures. And I thought what better way to do it instead of paying money for all these hotel rooms and stuff than to just live in a van and travel around like I have been wanting to. But I'm gonna show you guys a van tour of this beautiful Rustic 1993 Road Trek 190 popular van before the remodeling. So we are going to completely remodel this van. So this is the first look of the van and its original material and everything in it. I have not started to redo anything in the van because the renovation I'm waiting to start for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this rustic old 1993 Road Trek van. Let's go. Okay guys, so this is the side of the van. You guys can see the two doors open. And it has a seat right here and then it has a seat up here. So we have this chair right here when you first come in. And then we have the passenger seat and then right up there we have the captain seat. Something interesting about this van is this seat on the side here actually turns into a bed. What you do is you turn around the passenger seat and you can lay these cushions down and it becomes actually a comfortable bed. Now keep in mind you'd have to be pretty small to fit into this bed but it's pretty nice. Okay guys, so this is the inside of the Road Trek van. Now it's a 1993 so keep in mind that it's an older version. <laughs> So this is the kitchen in the van and it's a pretty nice size kitchen to be in a van. We have this vent for when you're cooking on the stove top and this is a stove top. You can put little pots on here or something. So it's a gas stove top. So it's perfect for on the go and you don't have to worry about it draining your battery. So this microwave runs off the generator. It's super nice and it's actually a pretty big size compared to the older Road Trek vans I saw. And then we have our little sink here that we just cut on the water tank, the water pump, and then we just cut it on. <laughs> was it off on? I think it was already on. <laughs> <laughs> it was already on. <laughs> right, it, it runs at a good pace, but um, the hot water one does not work, so we're working on that. I think it's just the faucet we have, but we'll see. Um, that'll be something we get into for the renovation. So over here we have the fridge. It's got a little lock on top to keep it in place for when we're driving. You just flick that over. And then here's the inside of the fridge. It's got a couple shelves. It's got, believe it or not, it's got an actual freezer in there. Now, whether or not you could fit maybe a couple popsicles in there. <laughs> it's not very big, but um, I didn't even know it had a freezer, so I'm pretty impressed by it. We have a little silverware cabinet and we have like an accessories cabinet for your measuring cups your um, just really anything knives and stuff let's I'll show you down here it's got a dish drainer some extra carpet cleaning stuff down there and a nice little cabinet up here when you're driving the van everything feels like it's falling apart because you're moving and everything's making noise so these little locks make sure that it's in place and it locks and it's not going to open and knock all your stuff out of the cabinets which is really nice um, there's a lock up here too you can see you just press on it and bring it up yes and this will be probably an area where I place my plates at so, and then right here is the bread cabinet. So, um, as you know, we don't do bread cabinets anymore, but it's a nice little space to have. Maybe little snacks or something could go in there, or cups. Beautiful little window right here. I love the window throughout the sink. It brings nice and lighting in, and it gives you a good little view. So, and this has curtains on it as well, so you can just bring it over and shut the curtains on it when you would like. You don't have much counter space, but hey, you're in a van, so you take what you can get. 
and it's got a little outlet right here it's got the microwave plugged up and you can plug something else up in it and then over here we have more cabinet space and these little bars are in here you can take them out really easily but um they hold your plates in place or your cups whatever you'd like your mugs um, as you can see, it's empty right now. We just got the van, so I haven't put anything in here, and I don't plan to until after the renovation. So yeah, and it, it goes pretty far back there. So, and then up here, we have our roof vent, and you can see you can unscrew it. It unscrews, and it can let some light in. And yeah, it, let's see. You just turn the knob to turn it on, and there you go. So it's really nice to have when you're studying and it gets hot or also when you're driving. Uh, when we were driving back when we first got the van, we opened this up and it felt really good just having that air run through and it's slanted this way so it's really nice when it's raining you don't have to worry about rain getting in. Back here we have more cabinet space. You can see we have these go back really far all the way back here. You know how dark it is. And then there's another little small outlet in here. We have a AC unit, which is really old and we're thinking about replacing it because we think it actually sucks more power for little air it shoots out. So we're trying to see if we can replace this or not. We're definitely gonna replace it with another one because we need air in here. Then we have another cabinet over here. So this is the pole I was talking to you about, about the square table. So I'm going to show you guys the square table and also this is another cabinet. So as you guys can see we're just like drowning in cabinet space, it's great. We also have this like little utility room. Um, it's really neat because it's, you don't think you will need the space but it's like you can hang up shirts in here, they've got a clothes rack and just about everything in here. So it also has this little pole in here for the circle table. So in this van, we have two tables. We have the long square one, and then we have the circle one. So the circle one is the one that you kind of want to put right here because the square one's a little bit too big. And then tucked back here, we have the circle table, which is really nice because you can just screw it. It has a bottom on it, so we just screw it down and it fits right in. So this is ideal for setting right here and having a little snack, or you can turn these chairs around. As you can see, you can actually rotate these seats, which is really cool because you can, normally, regular cars, you can just set in it and buckle up. This seat, you can actually make like a nice little chair for you to eat at table if you're traveling with others then it's perfect because you guys can all face the table and talk and eat and relax this is not only a seat right here it also has lots of lots of storage in it. so let me show you guys so this cushion right here like i said earlier it is also a bed but also you have tons of tons of space in here so you just lift it up and then there's all your space. It's like a, a big toy box. And I've seen people store jackets in there and ski clothes and all sorts of bulky stuff. So that's really nice to have because I didn't know that when I bought the van and she showed me right when I was about to drive off with it. And it was a pretty cool thing to have. Over here is this big cabinet right here is actually our bathroom. So we're gonna open it up and here it is. Voila, you got your toilet paper rack. And then there is the toilet. It's pretty old, it's the original toilet that came with the van. And it's, it's actually run by the water in the water tank, so I'll show you. And you can flush the toilet just by holding down. And voila. And then that water slowly drains, but it does leave the toilet. So then you close the lid up. But it also has these little cabinets up here in the toilet area. You can put toilet paper, you can put paper towels, whatever you like up there. It's really nice. And then we have these little lights up here too. At night you can have one. There's a little light in the bathroom. But yeah, it's super nice. And it's got some directions on how to flush the toilet and clean out the um, tank. So yeah, 
it's really nice for that but also if you want some privacy while using the bathroom you can also open up the door on the outside of the bathroom and fold it right in and just like that you have some privacy pretty safe when you have this door because you only have this little window on the windows in the back so if maybe I get tired one night I don't feel like shutting all the curtains I could just do this so yeah so then for the front we also have these three windows it's the classic symbol of the road trek van they have three windows up front for you to have views of the stars views of the, the mountains anything in front of you it's really really pretty um now when you're driving you can't look at them but when i was riding it was really cool to look up and see the sunset happening when we were driving back from Asheville, north carolina it was beautiful there was a pretty sunset happening it was really pretty they do have a little tent on them so i don't know if we're going to keep that or not maybe um to help with the heat of the sun it depends on how um how hard it would be to take them off as you can see there's more cabinets up here you can put your maps up here your snacks whatever you'd like um also there's the dog house the dog house doesn't have any kind of cabinets or anything with it but it does have this like little trash can i believe or a cigarette dropper maybe um we've got the wood interior for in here it's a little darker like a darker oak than the dry like uh, red oak up here but this I don't we're not sure yet if we're going to stain it or if we're going to paint it so we're really excited to see about that but the interior in the front is mostly blue just like throughout the van we've got the blue seats for the captain's chair and then we've got the blue carpet and the blue doghouse cover yeah these curtains on the side here can completely come over and cover the windows I'll have to show you all how the curtains work but it's it's really nice and then if you're worried about these up here they both come with curtains and you can just frame right over it completely covers up the three windows and it's really nice because if you got all the other windows covered up that was one of my concerns too these wouldn't be covered up but they can cover and there's storage in the sides here you guys can see they put a little like cushion down so it doesn't make any noise we have a fire extinguisher over here so this is it can tell you the pump and it can you guys can see that we have full fresh water and it's holding in the gray and it's got battery life so it's really nice and then this is the switch to cut on the water pump so that cuts it on and then when you're done you just flip it off so back here we have the setting area it can be your living room your dining room and your bedroom so it's really nice back here you can set down on these cushions uh, they're pretty nice and long and they're actually single bed so if you actually wanted to um, have two people sleep back here you could separately this is a single bed and that is a single bed or you could lay the cushions down and make it a bed and I will show you all that in just a minute so this pole we got from up here it actually you just screw it right into this hole in the ground then you twist it and it goes right in so this is the long table and you can have a few people sitting here. The other day I had my sisters come in here and they had a little picnic. So there was like four people eating in here and they were comfortable, but they're also kids. So um, it's a good little space. You have this little ring light up here. This is really nice because it can shine down on your table, whether you're doing homework or eating. Um, yeah, it's just really nice. I got a replacement for this light because it's really yellow, so we will be replacing that. The woman I bought this van from actually just put this here so you wouldn't hit your head on it. And it is really nice because I've hit my head on this like three times and it didn't hurt because of that little cushion. So we're probably going to keep that. Um, back here we have the back door. And this is a really big, really big door. It's a one door and opens up just like that. We got some cup holders back here. So when your table's up, it's nice. You can put your cups down. It's just like the side doors. We have these screens. So when you're parked camping somewhere and you open up the windows, you don't have to worry about the mosquitoes coming in or the bugs because you have a screen up. Before we make the bed, I'll show you guys what's under here. We have our tire. Let me try to get this. Our spare tire is right down here. And you all can see there's the tire and there's some tools to put it in place so then down here we have our furnace which we have not i don't think we've ran yet no yeah we have not ran the furnace yet same for over here we have our generator right here let's see if there's it takes a few times to start it 
And yes, okay, so there's our generator and um, we're thinking about either replacing or cleaning the generator because it takes a few times to start. Um, and before I had bought it from her, she said it wouldn't even really start up. So right now it's going pretty good with a cleaner in it. When you cut the generator on, this allows you to run the microwave, use the fridge, um, charge your electronics, pretty much anything with that without draining the actual battery of the van. So the three sources for the fridge is actually the 12 volt battery, the generator, or it can run off the propane. So it's really neat. You have three different sources to run in the fridge, which is really nice because you don't have to rely on one and all your food going bad. We also have these windows on the side, which bring in nice lighting. And as you guys can see with the other, just like the other windows, we can bring it down and cover the windows. It's really nice. So you take your long table And you're going to put it under the cushions before you pull them out. You guys can see that there's actually a place to slide it in the table at. There's this little rim right here. You can slide this side of the table in and then the other side goes in the other rim. It's a little bit more difficult, but it works. So just like that, and it slides into place on top of the rim. So then we're gonna take the cushion and bring it towards us. Take the top, the top uh, backs of the little cushions, and then we're gonna put it over here. So really all you're doing is sliding out the bottom cushion and the other one's folded. So then we're gonna do the same for this one. Pull it out, and And this is the queen size bed. You saw how um, it was laying it down. It's not too hard, but it's definitely not the easiest. Okay, so this is that second bed I was telling you all about. This is actually the chair that you saw earlier. It can convert into a little bed. Now, I know my great uncle has one of these and he says this is like his dog bed, so he doesn't recommend a human sleeping on it. But when I laid down on it, laying down um, with it made as a bed, I thought it was pretty comfortable. You can see they have cords in here, they have a funnel. This is how we would fill the fresh water tank. To talk about the outside um, accessories of the van. The back door, it's the big It's a pretty big door. It's really heavy, so you got to be careful shutting it. You all can see um, easiest way to the generator. And then we have our gas. This takes just regular gas, um, which is really nice. This is our refrigerator. Down here is our propane tank, and we believe this is our water tank. So our sewage line for dumping um, the great water out. So there you have it, my van toy. Make sure to subscribe if you would like to see the renovation of the van. I'm so excited to get started. I have so many ideas and plans for the van before we hit the road. And after we get done renovating, we will finally be able to start this journey across America. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all in next week's video. Bye guys.